Today, I want to talk about what true riches really are. To do this, let me share with you a story about the rich dad and his son. The story goes like this. One day, a rich dad took his son on a trip. He wanted to show him how poor someone can be. They spent time on the farm of a poor family. On the way home, dad asked, Did you see how poor people can be? What did you learn? The son said, We have one dog, they have four. We have a pool, they have rivers. We have lanterns at night, they have stars. We buy food, they grow theirs. We have a fence and walls to protect us. They have friends. Our patio reaches to the front yard and they have the whole horizon. We have a small piece of land to live on and they have fields that go beyond our sight. We have servants who serve us, but they serve others. The boy's father was speechless. Then the boy added, Thanks dad for showing me how poor people can be. This story was shared on Facebook by a guy whose name is Dan Asmussen. Sometimes we forget the value of the things that we have. We become too fixated and envious of the things that others possess that we forget how blessed we truly are. The story illustrates how wanting more can rob us of our happiness. We don't see the need to be grateful anymore. Thankfully, there are children among us who constantly remind us of the joy of a simple life. In order for people to accumulate worldly possessions, they need to sacrifice their time, energy, and resources. Things that they could have used to spend with loved ones and do the things they love. I'm not saying that it's bad for us to pursue a comfortable life or earn a living. What I'm saying is that you need to set your priorities right. It is not good to get rich at the expense of sacrificing your relationship with others and especially your relationship with our Heavenly Father. No wonder we read in Proverbs 23 verse 4 to 5, Do not overwork to be rich. Because of your own understanding, seize. Will you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward heaven. The wisest king advises us to not overwork to be rich. If you make getting rich your ultimate goal in life, like what King Solomon said, seize. Believe me, it's a sad road to take. When you reach the end of the road, you will soon see how empty and lonely the place will be. In our story, the child, in his innocence, recognized what really matters in life. Though they are rich in material possessions, they are not rich in relationships. This is evidence in the attitude of his dad. His dad has the wrong perspective in life. Instead of appreciating what he has, he would instead teach his son to be proud and arrogant by comparing himself to others. Instead of looking after the poor, he instead teaches his son to look down on them. Don't forget that whoever you are, whether you are rich or poor, young or old, it is not your possession that will give you value. It is the Almighty God. So what should we do instead? Have the proper perspective in life. Do you know why? Because the best things in this life are things at all. They are the people that make your life worth living for. And it's God who gives you life and loves you to the point that he was willing to give his son for you. That's it for me. I hope you learned something new today. If you love stories like what I have shared with you in this presentation, you will also love my free ebook entitled The 10 Most Inspiring Stories Ever Told in the Bible. In this booklet, learn the most powerful, fascinating, and life-changing stories in the book of books. I have included 10 stories that will surely inspire you. From the creation of the world to the sacrifice of the Messiah, discover how each story can make you a more zealous Christian. So if you're interested, I have shared the request link in the description box. I'm Joshua Infantado, the founder of Becoming Christians Academy, praying that the Almighty will bless you with more of His truth love and grace. See you next time.